Good morning, modern steaders. This morning we're going to be trimming out the inside of the root cellar and installing the door. In yesterday's video, if you didn't see it, I'll put a link to that video right here. We trimmed out the front and we built the door. If you'd like to see how we built our insulated door, it's an R20 value. It's a six inch door. We'll be getting to that in a few minutes. Oh, the sweatshirts, you like them, huh? We're going to be adding a new color, the black heather color. Some of the sizes you can't get right now, so we're going to be adding a midnight blue. That's nice. I got one of those shirts coming in to us. I'll be taking pictures of that, and then I'll be adding a link on our website for the midnight blue sweatshirt. But if you want a sweatshirt or t-shirts, I'll put a link right here, and in the description down below, you can go on over to our website, and you can get a shirt. All right, so on the inside, we're not going to be as fancy as the outside. We're not going to see this as much. We still want it trimmed off. But I'm not going to go with as wide of trim boards. We have a lot of modern setters asking us about different products that we use tools, kitchen items, a lot of stuff. So we, we've always had Amazon affiliate links, but now we started our own Amazon affiliate page, influencer page, I believe it is. I'll put a link in the description down below. So if you go to amazon.com slash shop backslash Lumna Acres, it'll bring you to our page. And on that page, it has a lot of products that we use. And if you ask us a question and you bought another product and it's not there, I'll link it. pieces I'm putting in is just to finish it off and it just makes it look a little nicer. It's snowing out again. Yep, we're in the thick of winter. It's not even winter yet. Our door dried overnight. Being rough sawn lumber, not all the edges are square. So I'll show you what we need to do. We have part of the board sticking up over the edge. So I'm gonna grind that down. One of our fellow modern steaders, when he was at the pig harvesting class, brought up this grinding disc to try. It's sandpaper. So we're gonna give it a shot. Anthony was saying that these are the sanding discs they were using when they were building their cabin. So let's give it a shot, Anthony. Definitely working good. Can aug down some wood. Look at that. Thanks, Anthony. Those grinding discs worked awesome. I'll see if I can find them on Amazon and I'll put a link in the video description. Actually, no, I don't need to put a link in the video description for just the grinder. I'll see if I can find a link on Amazon to the grinding discs and I'll post them on our page at amazon.com slash shop slash acres. I'll leave a link for that page down in the description below. I'm going to put hinges on. I think I'm either going to use three or four hinges. These are the hinges I took off of the automatic pig feeder that we have. If you want to learn how to make an automatic pig feeder, I'll put a link to that video right here. So since we have these hinges, we're going to try putting these hinges in. If they're not heavy duty enough, I'll buy some new hinges later on. But I think three, maybe four, will work good for the door. This might prove interesting. We gotta get the door in the doorway. 
and get inside and screw the hinges. <laughs> Let's figure this out. I think it's too snug on the top and the bottom, and then I have to take it back out and grind off some on the top and the bottom, and then try it again. But that's gonna look pretty wild. All right, let's try this again. I had to take it outside and trim down the width a little bit. It wasn't all that fun. But let's see if it fits now. You know what the problem is? It's because the door is six inches thick. It almost wants to fit when you are got your angle. It's making the door wider so it's binding on the trim. So what I need to do is I think if I just grind a little bevel edge on that board, it should work. All right, third time's a charm. I hope, find out. I'm covered in man glitter. We were at Olivia's Christmas concert the other night and Gina goes, you got sawdust all over your head. I said, that's not sawdust, that's man glitter. That's what men put on to get up and get ready to go out. Like women put glitter on to get all pretty. We put on our man glitter. I see the issue now, I believe. It fits top and bottom. It just fits in one spot that the board's not square. Let me show you. I should have caught this sooner. The board, I don't know how good you can pick it up yet. The board right here sticks past the 2x6. So I gotta grind that down a little bit. I should have caught that earlier. Just in a little 12 inch long spot. The rest of it's nice and flush. That's the thing with all these custom projects. There's a lot of trial and error and fitting you need to do to get stuff to work. Especially when you're dealing with rough sawn lumber. Nothing straight, nothing's the same thickness, but you get that nice look. It just takes more time. If it works this time. All right, I fit it a few more times. I think this time will do it. The reason I'm being so finicky with my gaps is, is I want a nice tight seal for the door. I didn't want to have big quarter inch gaps all the way around. I might end up with that after. We'll have to wait and see. But put a couple of screws in for now because if I have to take this back off I don't want to be fighting with old screw holes let's see if we can do one per hinge for now
still have the cardboard under it, so it might be tight top and bottom. Let's see the big gap. I figured something like that was going to happen, but... Oh no, he's stuck! Gene, I want to push the door open. Yeah, I'm stuck. I can't get out. Help. Push in towards me. Hip check it. One more time. There we go. Thank you. Okay, we're hitting right here at the bottom. Before we get too carried away with planing the bottom plate, I want to attach all the hinges securely. I know I'm screwing it at an angle. I want to make sure I get a good bite on my 2x6 frame to hold my hinges. See how it works. Boom. See, this is what I was trying to avoid. Because the door is so thick, when you open your door, the gap closes because of the angle. And it's barely enough room when you get a, the full swing. But when you close it, we now have three quarters of an inch gap. I didn't want that, but I'm not surprised that happened. Everywhere else, we're good. All right, let's see if we can resolve the problem the best that we can. I cut a piece of one by lumber. So this is how we're gonna fix it from the inside. And after we get this weather strip installed, We'll install a piece on the outside. All right. This sticks over. It shuts. Seals the gap from this side. And I'll show you why I put that side on first. It also acts as a stop. I don't only let the door go so far. So now we put this sail on. We don't have to worry about having it too far forward and then putting the back piece on and not having and then having a gap. Before I forget, when we put the door on this morning it was 63 and a half degrees. Right now it's already dropped down to 62.4. So it'll be interesting to see how cool it will get in here without doing anything with that window. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to have fun experimenting with how to keep it cool in here. If we leave the window the way it is, what kind of vent we want to add. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. Let me get the trim boards ripped for the outside, and then we'll come back and we'll install them. Right now it is 58.8 in here. That's where we're gonna have to stop today's project. 
We got a Christmas party we're going to, and I gotta go take a shower and get the man glitter off of me. But before we do that, let's go give the pigs a treat. You girls sleeping. I got some food. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on out. All sorts of goodies in there for you. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.